My name is Elaine Waterman, and I am the Executive Director at the Firehouse Art Center. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do face painting in, um, in terms of Dia de los Muertos. So we are going to be doing a sugar skull face painting on my son, Ethan. And we are basing it off of this, which is Calavera Katrina, which is a lithographic print by Jose Guadalupe Posada. So this is kind of an icon, um, iconic figure for Dia de los Muertos. It is a skeleton that is smiling, having a great time, and is dressed uh, with a sophisticated hat with feathers. So um, when you are doing face painting for Dia de los Muertos, uh, for the skull, you want to do something that is very elaborate. Uh, it can go the range of very simple, so just like a plain old skull. Uh, but most of the sugar skull and the Katrina face painting that we uh, see for Dia de los Muertos is more elaborate, kind of falling within um, the scope of the Calavera Katrina. Uh, so we are going to be doing sugar skull face painting today. Uh, and then this one is just a representation of a sugar skull that you would find on the ofrendas um, for Dia de los Muertos. So the first step when we are doing our face painting is of course to color the face white with um, cream makeup. Now we are gonna be using this cream makeup uh, that you would find at uh, just, you know, the makeup store or the Halloween store. Um, so it's often best to use these sponges and I've put it on this tray right here. And Ethan, if you come just a little bit closer, uh, we're gonna cover his whole face, uh, except for the area right around the eyes, which is where we are going to have it dark so that he ends up looking like a skeleton. So when you're doing um, face painting for Dia de los Muertos and you're doing the skeleton face painting, uh, usually it's not a scary skeleton. It is more of a smiling skeleton. Um, it's not a typical scary skeleton. Uh, death is not something to be afraid of in this holiday. It is something to be celebrated uh, as much as life is. So you do kind of want to get it pretty thick. And I'm using the sponge to kind of dab as opposed to um, like rub it, I guess and that gives it a thicker white appearance. As far as the arts, um, for Dea de los Muertos, uh, the skeleton, the calavera or calacas makeup is one of the repeating motifs. So you'll see a lot of people dressed up with the skeleton makeup. Okay, so we have got you pretty much set for the white makeup and we are gonna go ahead and do the black around your eyes. So this makeup right here is, um, just makeup that is activated by water. So I took a brush, water, and I wet it. And I am going to just take this brush and pretty much paint. And Ethan is my canvas for today. So you wanna get black around the eyes. So, paint around his eyes. Now, some of the motifs that you'll see for this um, 
They'll have uh, flowers at the top. You might have hearts around it. Um, it is a very unisex kind of thing though, so it's not um, both boys and girls, as far as kiddos, will get painted with this skeleton makeup. Um, there's also spider webs. You see lots of spider webs in this. And, you know, if you wanted to go really simple, you could just do the black around the eyes. Uh, but we're going to get a little bit more elaborate with ours. So some of the flowers that you'll see um, in this makeup might be marigolds, uh, which are the uh, flor de muertos. Um, they line the path and they show your deceased loved ones how to return to you. So you'll see lots of marigolds um, used in cemeteries and also in the face painting. Um, those are brightly colored oranges and yellows. You'll also see lots of roses. Okay, so now I have the makeup around his eyes and I'm gonna do his nose next. So sometimes you can do like just the whole nose and a little bit of a triangle um, or you can separate it out and do one side and then the other side. Um, and it's okay if you know it's not exact. It doesn't have to be um, a mirror image. And yay. Next thing that we'll do is we are going to do skeleton's mouth. So a lot of times people will come up to the cheek right here and do a little curve down. And like I said, the skeleton is usually smiling or laughing. Um, you know, death is not something to be afraid of. It is celebrated. So our skeletons are happy skeletons. Um, and you can do just a little bit of a line right here. And then you can do the teeth. Uh, so sometimes people put little dots and then do the teeth as if it was like um, sewn shut or you can just go straight. And these brushes are really great because um, it's a flat brush. So you can do a section that's very thick. Uh, if you turn it on its side, you can get a line that is very thin. Of course, if you eat anything, Ethan, after I do this, then all your lines get a little messed up, but that's okay because a lot of the Dia de los Muertos celebration does have to do with food and celebrating with your families and sharing meals. So it's okay if your skeleton makeup gets a little messed up. Okay, so now we have pretty much uh, a simple uh, calacas, our simple skeleton Dia de los Muertos uh, makeup right now. Uh, but we are gonna get a little bit crazy and we're gonna go with um, a spider web at the top and we're gonna do a spider web at the bottom as well. So sometimes it's good to just do the lines that go down first. So we got this line, this line and that line. And come down with this one. So here, um, you know, it's very uh, common to see the flowers along the crown of the hair and also down here at the chin. Um, I am doing a spider web for Ethan and you do these curved lines for the web. Just like that. And then we'll do it for the chin as well. So I'm gonna go. And 
do a little spider web down here too. So obviously you can get as detailed as you want, depending on how small your brushes are or how big they are. Um, when you get to do these tiny little details, you might want smaller brushes. Um, in this area, it is very common to see some designs on the cheek. Uh, and, you know, you kind of want to have it be symmetrical. It doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, so I'll put a little swirl here and a little swirl there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to do a design around the outside of his eyes. So here is where you'll see um, a lot of people end up doing petals for flowers. And once again, these brushes are really great because you can do a thick kind of thing um, all the way around and it gets pretty simple. You know, you can just do lines all the way around. And boop, boop. Uh, sometimes it helps to make noises especially when you're painting kids. Uh, Ethan is a fantastic model. He stays still all the time. Uh, but you might have some kiddos that you're painting that move around a little bit more. Uh, so, you know, it's good to keep your design simple if you can and use tools that can help you do it quickly. Uh, and these brushes definitely do that. Now, if I was painting a girl, what you could do is you could do uh, a mouth with the red, and that would be fine. Um, with the boys, I like to leave it with just a line. And another fun thing that you can do is around the edges when it's wet, if you have any kind of glitter. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan, I'm gonna put some glitter on your face. You can take your brush, make sure that your brush is wet, and you can, if you wet these areas and prepare them, you can come in with some glitter uh, and you can add it like that. And it sticks to the wet um, area. And you can have all kinds of stuff that you can add. So there's glitter. A lot of people, when they go uh, very elaborate, will add rhinestones to this area. You could add rhinestones to the mouth area to signify teeth. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can do. But this one, I tried to keep it pretty simple. Um, so most often, you know, like with this sugar skull design, you want to use um, the black and the white, obviously, as uh, the kalakas or the skeleton. Um, and then you can have bright colors that accent the areas around. You can have bright colors for the mouth. Um, you can add bright colors up here at the top. So as you can kind of see how this is painted and then also uh, how this sugar skull mask is painted as well. So um, yeah, that is our quick demonstration for face painting. Uh, so just to go through the steps again, it was the white face paint, uh, cream makeup, and a sponge. Uh, with the black, I used the brush, water, and water activated face paint just around the eyes to do the details, and then also the, um, the skeleton smile, uh, and then also the nose. And then you can use um, a brush, uh, depending on what kind of thing that you're going to use, you can use smaller brushes, medium-sized brushes to do the design around the eyes, whether you're going to be doing petals or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully uh, that gives you a little bit of an idea how to do your face painting for Dia de los Muertos. Um, and then also uh, kind of gives you a jumping place to, um, you know, use your own imagination and think of uh, some designs that you want to have on your face. So thank you very much, and um, we'll see you next time.